<laughs> yes. What's going on? What's going on? Tell me you're discussing religion tonight. Definitely. We have to talk about religion tonight, man. Because religion depends on the attack from our dear. Hard. Wicked, wicked. See me, I deal it. Religion depends on the attack from our dear. Wicked, wicked, you know. And me know, say, enough people lost right now, and I wonder if. Turtle man, big up my dan. Enough people lost right now and I wonder what is going on upon the land. You know me I say? Enough people I wonder what's going on upon the land star. And it's not right for people to remain lost, especially in them time. Yeah. You have to hold up your eyes, you have to hold up your head and look through your eyes and use your five senses where you're born with. Use your five senses. You understand me? Yeah man, we have to burn a fire man and make the people know say stop the foolishness man. So we just want the life at up a little bit. Tag your friend, tag everybody right now, cause we want to sift through that something man, because they might try they might try to start a war with the youths them. They might try to start a war with the youths them and I try to use the youths them as pawns. I wonder if you know, see what I go on. Them a try to use the youth them as pawn right now. You see when them a try, you see we as big people, there's no saving us, you know. We can't. There's no saving us as big people. We done indoctrinated and gone to a, a point of no return. <clears throat> but you see when them a turn the sword upon them juvenile right now, we not stand feet. Cause you them more sensible than that. You understand me? Yeah, man, don't get my words wrong, man. Listen to me. Aren't you an atheist, sir? And who is they? I'm talking about this, this spiritual warfare when I say when I go on. Who know I do? I, 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 sorry, I don't know who he is. This spiritual warfare when I say I go on. Who know I war, no? No spirit, no war, nobody. Who know I war people? Who know I war people? Because I'm scared. We are not, we are not all scared people, afraid, afraid of self. Fear is the number one factor driving everything that's going on right now. And it is disgusting. You understand me? Weak and scared. Yes, man. Weak and scared. And nobody don't want to do little research or try to have some logical overstanding of what's going on. Spirit and all of these things. See? Like I said, at the first in the world, young people manipulate the minds of elders. I'm sure a lot of you have... You, enough people have kids. Enough people have kids. To them, I bridge and I give me a reason and I show myself. You yeah, hear me? When I tell him, doctor, it's sick. See? She must have break her foot. And, um... She take the cars, she got doctor and them take the cars off of the foot. But like she said, it's still a hurt car, it can't heal properly and I same daughter. Thing. Young girl though. Be it like probably younger than eight years old. But she said the foot can't heal and can't heal. So he starts saying oh, wow, well, two weeks now my daughter not go to school, you know. I'm not comfortable with it and come like she get too comfortable staying home. And him said to her, Yeah, hear me? She, she, she asked him about like she want to upgrade her laptop or her tablet or something so she want to update it, you know what I say? And he said, yeah, hear me? When your foot get better, you get a brand new laptop. But well, I mean, no time the foot get better. See? So, kids are good at manipulating. They're good at manipulation. See me, I deal it. And it only takes a few to start it and then there's a tumble-down effect, a domino effect. Go straight across the board. These are young people in their early teenager stage right them energy is soaring they have that energy for go all out in them don't need no more incentive than for see them peers are do it and then them just follow through see me i deal it not no funny first thing let's get this out of the way let's get get the seriousness right upon the top 
has there been any proof presented that a child has died based on the entire scenario that took place today? Has there any facts come about that a child has died because all of these platforms, especially the news entities, them that put out that um, that story, them still do not. I don't hear none of them carrying a story about no 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 child passing. So let's get that other way. Then no pitney no dead, right? We can unanimously say that no youth no dead. Cause them say one, two, three, four, five. One bad story. Any youth dead? No one said children died. Exactly. None of the news entity them. None of the serious news entity. No. They said four to the four died. But I'm asking you. Did the Jamaica Star, the Jamaica Gleaner, the Observer, or any of the serious platform, the media houses them, did any of them come out and say any children died? Seriously. I mean, they can mean anybody, you know, can be a madman who have an IG account. Okay, so no serious news or national um, news, news platform reported that um, any, any kids died based on what going on today. So that was a driving force based on enough people now wanted to run with this narrative that spirit had taken over the, the youth them in the school and that there's a spiritual warfare going on I feel from a personal perspective personal experience that these things are real unique what's, what's the name of unique for that when I love you come and explain this send a request and join the live and tell about your experience I want to hear about this when you come convince we tonight because enough of it over yourself enough people glad up when them see me online and them not run with full narrative, but them don't want to talk. But when we online, them come on, and I know we not run with that. So I give you the opportunity now to come convince me. Good night, Tommy. When something happens, you can always depend on someone speak like they know exactly what happened without being there. Okay. No, I don't know if this is for we, but we not speak like we was there. But just I tell you, sir, there's no spiritual warfare going on. There is no spiritual warfare going on. And I soon get to that why I say it. I want the live at a little more before I get into that part there. And telling us there's no spiritual warfare now. Go on and if you stop, make people trick on you. And stop being a pawn in a society. And be wise. Be wise, man. We are big people now, now we're supposed to pass the stage of like being manipulated, yo. When we are gonna stop that something? Here? Like when we are gonna stop that something, here, people? Una shame. Like seriously, una shame. We're supposed to shame, man. Shame when me hear people are talk. Shame when me hear them say spiritual warfare. God tells you society trickery, I'm not lying. Teach and I eat that. Anyway, them say some spiritual warfare are going on in the school. Them. them say a teacher started praying. I don't know if it's a teacher or them invite somebody in the school for utter some prayer. Right now, if you want to pray in schools, we used to that. Me used to go to school and I used to pray in a school, and we never have no issues with it. Same, I never have no issues with prayer in school at the time I was religious, so you know, come on, no way to me now. But honestly, me, what I prefer send my youth as a matter of fact, my school, them not do the prayer something there. The youth, the school where my youth go, them not do the prayer something there. And, if it did come down to it, I would know my youth in our school or them had the bag of praying, praying thing. See me a deal it. Um, to how me want to grow my youth, now me want to teach my youth what is real and what is fake. 
and I want to teach him what to believe in, that he's supposed to lean upon his own understanding and not the teachings of my four parents who were beaten to learn this indoctrination where they might teach the kids them right now. So that is just used up information that is no good, that offers no help to society whatsoever. In this world where we are living right now, there is nothing in religious education that is helping the kids them move forward in life. Nothing in religious education. The world that the way the world is moving right now, because we're a part of this world, and anybody thinks they're them apart from it or them separate from it, are them still living in some time where Jesus are gonna come bust the cloud and come fly down and save we. Me sorry for oh no. See me I deal it. I'm not gonna live on I'm not dead and I know what is reality. Because you're stuck in our world where it no longer exists. That not exists right as now. See? First thing. When, when a country I go invade another country, you see them question the religious aspect of it or whatever. What they more question is the moral aspect of it, or I find the financial aspect of it. They don't take up no Bible and read through no Bible and quote no Bible verse or whatever. When a country has got rage war upon another country, whether it be for oil, whether it be for gold mining, or whether it be for them, them um, whatever them, them natural resources may be, right? They really are not playing a part in that, you know. They go in and they plunder and them kill hundreds of thousands of people. When George Bush invaded Iraq, you know, it was early 2000, right? And rage war against Saddam because he said they have weapons of mass destruction. You know how much Iraqi dead? Hundreds of thousands of Iraqi. Thousands of American soldiers died. See me, I deal with it. And them man in our talk about spirit and ghosts and dopey and them stuff there. Them living in the real world, a plunder them deal with. So me now go grow my youth for a base theme life, pan no spirit. Or nothing, because when he's living at the real world, the people them will come to conquer him. Now, talk about no spiritual conquer, they will come with real weapons. They will come with real weapons, they will come with real ammunition. So, you, the on your knee, are praying, I want to tell your youth them to believe in a, some spiritual thing where you can't see, feel, nor touch. While the people them will move forward in this world and conquer, a plunder, and a gain resources and a build on top of what they have. They might do tangible things to move forward. Now, in this time, in this country, in Jamaica, this great nation, a country we've been through so much, see? And we're at a point now where we see, like the youth, they need some real serious guidance. And we as adults have to take responsibility for that. We as adults have to take responsibility for that. The onus is on us. Nobody else, not they upon the church, not they upon the police, not they upon nothing, they upon we as adults, as parents. And we are going to determine where them youth are come out to be in the future. See? And if we are going to take this turn now for say, you all know, no, they might behave that way because of spirit. You're lazy and you don't want to take accountability for the job that you need to do because you are ready now. To blame everything that you don't understand and can't handle and spirits and that is where the problem lies because them you tell totally them need some adjustment there's a time now when everybody have to just really in the youth them because there's so much distraction out there cable internet social media senior dealing and we, even as adults, we lost to me last in a social media more time. That's why I'm not even post so much. Come and get lost in other world and like surfing social media now, the stuff them where you see it can it depress me, it can depress you. And if as an adult, it depress me more time. You know what I do to the youth them? You know what I do to the kids them? Some serious things are going out there with the minds of the youth them, you know, see? And we because we now pay attention now. The youth, them now, they might do some little things now, and we now are going to give it up to spirits. Like, seriously, now, when we are going to get around to um, 
tackling the real problem. When we are going to get around now to find out what's going on in the minds of the youths then and where did we go wrong and how can we re rein them in back. Jamaican people need to wake up and stop the stupidness. Stop the stupidness and doing a job and doing a duty as adults. Doing a duty as parents. And do not blame no damn spirit, no damn Holy Ghost or no damn devil. Is real people are the real things to people. That school the girl that school girl was stabbed up the next school girl the other day. I don't see no spirit that stab up a girl. I see a female inflicting harm on another female. So why should I say a spirit get in her and she not a control over it and, and blame it upon a spirit? Oh that make no sense now. And take the onus off of she now to take accountability for her actions. When we are gonna take accountability for her actions, if Everything has spirit, spiritual warfare, whatever. When we are going to fix the problem. So, when we say them a turn the sword upon the youth, them now, the picnic, them pull off a stunt in the school now, and the big people, them. Ah, Mr. Vega, you're there, I'm glad you're there. Big people, them in the world, in this country you now, the whole of gang me over the star page to them. Yo, me did want to get dark pawn over there to them, but I say, I just do a live and set for you tonight. I say, the big people them I jump up about spirit and Jesus and devil and all of these things and the pit them pull out a stunt pound. And then think there's some more stunt them have to pull now. A whole lot more stunt that they have to come in. You know? Cause some youth see that now and say yo. Tomorrow them now go to school or for the rest of the weekend them now go to school. They think them now go jump and rolling on the ground and go on that bag of things too. And this is something not a damn sense. But spiritual warfare. Pick me a foam at the mouth. If me there son talk too hard and get dark dark, me will start phone too. It's, it's, it's scientifically it is possible. Ask anybody. See me? And I talk about people that are nobody not confirm nothing. <laughs> but period spiritual warfare. Me not seen a dop yet. Listen to me now. Let me tell you something about the spirit. This is why I will never Nobody can tell me nothing about no spirit, no ghost, no doppy, no rolling calf, nothing, nothing. One reason alone, I have. I'm going to open and listen to me cleanly. Listen this down. And if this not make my sense, if not make no sense, me done with the live and just take my L and move on. Now, for centuries, see, a set of people, them rape, castrate, plunder, murder, them do, them cut off picnic head, chop off man and them do all of this thing upon a place named the plantation. Murder, kill, the worst that set a whipping and so forth. Dead, murder, kill and everything that's evil because they need people to be slaves and working at the field until the soil and chop cane and all of these things. See? And them do the worst things to these people. Right upon the plantation, you know. Worst things, like the most horrific dead people dead. Under them serious circumstances there. And you see when them do these things, they go in their houses on the plantation and change, change into them nice, comfortable clothes and get the best night's sleep. And for them parents and for them parents that come after the second generation and the third generation, them repeat the cycle over and over and over. And not one of my ancestors' spirit ever get up and go into that fucking house and box the living daylight out of the slave master them. See me I deal with? Slave master murder and kill. Entire families, generation upon generation, upon one plantation, you know, for decades upon decades. If you check how much of them buried dead, castrated, and raped, them rape, man, them rape, woman, them kill, picnic, them do the worst things to people, right? They so, I'm going at the house, go lay down, sleep, and not one of my ancestors, Duppy, never get up and go in there. I strangle a, a, a slave master, and rape back in wife, and box her down, and do nothing. Them dead and they under the ground and quiet. Nothing in a year from them. So, what other reason you need now for no say yo? 
when I worry about Dopey and Ghost for? Because I see the slave master them and free them picnic we come now and still enjoy the benefits of when my people them put in for them plantation. They still reap the benefits, still living in it, languishing in it, and I enjoy the wonderful life and the success we bring. And me not see them worry about spirit. I mean, hear them worry say, my ancestors, them doppy, I make them sleep uncomfortably in them bed at night time. No. No. And we alone are living under that illusion about spirit and spiritual warfare. And it's the same slave master them beat that something that in a way. I eat them use and manipulate them. And that's why we're so scared and so coward and afraid, afraid. It's a mindset where we keep on perpetuating upon each other. Because as one man rise up and brave and speak out, when you jump on them like what them jump on me over the star page. And all I offered today was some clarification. So I said, the same way, because me used to go to church. I did baptize in the church. And me sit down in the church and see half of the church are getting a spirit and people are run up and down and jump and roll and man are fraught from mouth and beer. These are good people who come the sensible walk in a church, just up good and prim and proper. And when altar call come, you're frightened to see them people are turn mad people. And them go out with the most things, drop and roll and run and ex a woman come with cheat and a cover a woman because her drawers are shoe and be or something. Craziness go on in the church. I'm sit down and look for me and say, but tomorrow Monday morning, everybody wake up with them same problems. This not solve nothing. Because if you go to church and you never have money for go to school tomorrow or go to work tomorrow, if you don't beg that from somebody, you get up with that same problems. So all of that excitement differ. So I say, if people in a church can carry on and go out that bag of craziness there, why do you them can do the same thing in a school? Think no man. Think no long. You just make it make sense now. And you talk about big grown ass people you know, in a church and run up and down, you know. You see, just like a picnic play Dali House says when it comes to religion, are the big people them Dali House that cause I feel them fantasy. I feel them fear that a long time you know come talk and beat about religion, you know. But me have to do it now because them are try off of the youth, them with that stupidness here. Yeah. We send kids to school to be educated, not for drop in a fantasy. Because them picnic there in China, talk about 30 years ago, you know, China press reset upon the youths, them, you know. But 30 years ago or 30 or 40 years ago, China press reset upon the youths, them. See? You, think you can't tell them nothing in China about no damn religion or nothing. They are deal with technology, a technological warfare, them are fight. And we over here try to fight spiritual warfare. See who are going to win that? Who are going to win? You fight your spiritual warfare and talk about spirit this and spirit that are while some people are educate themselves in a science and some whole heap of other things and see where you end up. End up back in a chains and as slaves. So how oh, me if embrace when I see going in a school today and some people are jump and talk about spiritual warfare now and I manipulate the youth them and I confuse the youth them even further. When you do nothing for you, you have to tell them to cut out the phone in them, man. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. You don't go to school for learn. If my, if any, if my youth did ever go to school, I'm so. Because no woman can't come and talk about she pray and speak in tongues. I don't send my picnic to church. I send my picnic to school for learn and get educated. And if my youth did go to school, eh, I would have, would, have, would, have, would have just come out of my lawyer office. Because I would have did it and I bill a lawsuit and I would have to file it tomorrow, tomorrow, upon whichever school that is. And as parent, a them type of stance, you send your kids to school to learn to be educated, not to learn about fiction. Yep, yep, yes, your child would traumatize, of course. Me see them sue, all right, me see them sue some, some, some adults, you know, uh, like a creech, where, where them have kids stay there in a the daytime. And must it true Halloween or come up or something. Them go put on one of the scary masks, them, 
and I, and I play with the kids them, and the kids them traumatize and I scream down the place and all, all of these things. And you know what them are do the people them? Them are bring them up on charges right now in America. I don't mean, you know if you want to see it on news. Them are bring them up on charges. Because you don't send your pitney go in an institution to be manipulated and traumatized. This woman come about she speaking tongues in front of my pitney and manipulation that you know. That woman they figure out jail. But she know she but spirit tell her what you say. I don't even hear what she said, but they must say spirit tell her, spirit send her for this and come give out message and all of them foolishness there. Why the spirit not tell you tell where Jasmine Dean kill her they are we are body there and all of these things? Why do the spirit keep on talking about things where we don't want to hear about? Why you not tell with the latter number for the 300 million US dollars where, where, where they're in, in America now where at least one Jamaica can win and care the whole of money comes save the whole of the ghetto. Why the spirit not talk about them something there? Y'all come talk about spiritual warfare and beware and rate, 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 rate. Yo, listen to me now, man. As parent, we are mess up, we are fuck up big time. As adults in Jamaica, we are fuck up because we don't realize that we are our time for reigning back the youth them, you know. Our time for bring them in back and get them back conscious and get them back sensible and stop all over the streets and other people for growing up picnic them and manipulate them in a foolishness. Every parent we send them picnic to school when they have a sole duty for bring on a picnic and sit them down and build back the connection. They can not have no not have no connection because at evening time I own this on the phone. And them over this upon tablet. And the reason they not going in the home again and not ask them about them day again. When I allow social media and um, uh, social media influencers for growing up picnic them. Uh, our fault, take responsibility for our actions, man. And I talk about spirit. When, we, when some wicked set of people and I feel the youths them. When I feel the youths them. And if the star make one more post about it, I go back on it tomorrow and I go clock up every single one of us big people, the people. Me not work for nobody. So me have time. But they have time today. But not for only my people them work and argue with me about spiritual warfare. And not this man and I talk about dirty dread or whatever. My work my locks wash every day. When I come at your style, man. You know what? War me and kill me over spirit when I not even see her or no one. You know nothing about spiritual world? Anyone ever been to the spiritual world and come back? You don't know nothing about spiritual world and I come talk about spirit this and spirit that. A real world me living in here. A real world me living in And I feel the youth them. And you keep on running with that narrative there. If you keep on running with this narrative, you're going to end up put back the youth them in a change. You're going to put back the youth them in a change where we, our four parents, are come out of. Because the youth them not supposed to be dumbing down to nothing right now. Listen, the mind is a very powerful thing, you know. The mind is a very powerful thing. For instance, me used to live, me used to live in a, in a house up, up Avondale one at a time. When me young, probably about 30, see? I remember one night, me don't know what, them time the JDC TV, now and then them sign on all night. And I like now when TV runs 24 hours. JDC TV now go do a all night transmission, man, and put, put on one show name. Return of the living. No, night of the living dead, man. I mean, sit down, but me and watch it. Me and my brother, but me and watch night of the living dead. And me and tell him, watch the damn show. Uh, in the night, I'm in the bed and I'm pissed, I'm pissed, I'm pissed. But through, I have to get up and walk through and pass it for going to the bathroom.